Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Master Books podcast. I have such a cute show for you today. Caleb is with me, and he will be sharing with us about his favorite dinosaur books from Master Books, the ones that are specifically written for children. And his mom is with him today, and she is going to tell us how she incorporated these dinosaur books into his education. Caleb is 10 years old, and he knows some stuff about dinosaurs. So grab your kids and we will get started. Here at Masterbooks, we are dedicated to help you disciple your children and develop a strong faith as a family. With Pro Bible Homeschool curriculum and beautiful books that honor God as creator. We offer online courses to help your family worship and serve God. You will also find morning baskets and devotionals for the whole family. Our mission is ink on paper to touch eternity, and we have been publishing Christian books for this purpose since 1975. Find your Pro Bible Homeschool curriculum at masterbooks.com. All right, so welcome to the show, Anna and Caleb. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for having us. Caleb, tell us, why do you think you like dinosaurs so much? Because they're pretty much like reptiles, but bigger. Oh, and you like reptiles? Yes. Okay. And you like science? Do you study reptiles in science? Yes. All right. So let's pretend, Caleb, that we're on a game show called, Wow, I Didn't Know That About Dinosaurs. And I want you to teach me about dinosaurs today in this little game that we're going to play. So I'll ask you questions and you'll tell me the answers. And if you teach me something that I didn't know, I get to say, Wow, I didn't know that about dinosaurs. And your mom can be your teammate if you need some help. Okay? Okay. All right. So before we start, I want to tell everyone we are giving away a digital copy of Dinosaurs for Kids by Ken Ham. It's a wonderful book with lots of great scientific biblical information in it about dinosaurs. And I want to ask Caleb to tell me two things that he was excited to learn from Dinosaurs for Kids. So one of them is from the, is the Dimorphodon. The Dimorphodon had a wingspan less than five feet and it, and it had a deep jaw and the fly, and the skin on the tail helped it fly better. Wow. Wow. Does that make you, um, marvel at how amazing God is at creating different animals and reptiles? Yes. Me too. Me too, because we're all so different and yet alike. So tell me another thing you learned from Dinosaurs for Kids. Um, so the G I geological. <laughs> geological. Um the flood, the volcanic, the ice age and um the dramatic weather changes were factored for some dinosaurs to go extinct okay that's great information can i say it now wow i didn't know any of that about dinosaurs <laughs> thank you you're good at this game all right so do you have another favorite dinosaur book that your mom got for you from masterbooks.com yes dragons of the deep Ooh, I, that one has pretty pictures in it. I love that one. Tell me what you learned from that book that you didn't know from reading other things about dinosaurs. Um, one of them was from the Dunkleosis and it, it ate sharks for lunch pretty much. Oh my goodness. Well, it must be so big if it eats sharks. It grew up to be 30 feet in length and weighed up to one ton. Wow. And the head alone was over two feet and the chest was covered, the head and chest was covered in armored plating. Armored plating. Wow. I didn't know that about dinosaurs. So Dragons of the Deep, that book is specifically about dinosaurs or sea monsters, right? It's all about the ones in the sea. How many, do you remember how many you learned about in there? One of them was the... Sarcosicus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Sarcosicus grew up to be 40 feet in length and weighed up to eight tons. 
Eight tons. And it was only the second, it was one of the second largest crocodiles. And the skull alone was over two feet in length as well. Two feet. You know some stuff. I didn't know any of these things. I'm so glad you love dinosaurs and you've been studying it. You are a smart man. So I heard from your mom that you're taking the elementary paleontology course over at masterbooksacademy.com. Do you yes. like it? Yes. What do you like about it? What have you learned over there? It is super fun. And I learned about how dinosaurs lived. Okay. Well, what did you learn about how they live? Um, they lived in rough environments. And when they went extinct, it was mostly because of the flood. Right. Oh, tell them about um, the, what you learned about fossils. So um, the fossils, they have found fossils in Africa. Um, they found fossils in the, US, in the USA, pretty much all over the world. So God placed dinosaurs all over. And yep. then did they disappear with the flood? Yes. Okay. All of them? Maybe. I don't know either. So maybe you'll have to check back with me and see. Tell there's me been, what you find. There's been sightings of dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there are a few left? Yeah. Are there dinosaurs, things that are called dinosaurs that we think of as some other animal? Like a turtle? Mm-hmm. Alligator snapping turtles, uh, green the green sea turtle. Uh, people think it's like a massive dinosaur because they're huge and they got like a dragon tail. Oh my goodness. The dragon tail kind of scares me. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, Anna, how you have used these dinosaur books to help Caleb in his education. Well, Caleb has always loved dinosaurs since he was just a wee lad. Um, he thought he was a dinosaur at one time and wouldn't take a dinosaur costume off. He pretty much lived in it. Um, <laughs> he doesn't live in it anymore. Right. That was a fun thing to do back then. Yes. Um, also, we've been very open about Caleb being diagnosed with dyslexia. Mm -hmm. And we have tapped into this interest to help him with his reading and his writing, whether it be writing about the dinosaurs and creating that dinosaur log in the paleontology course, okay. or even just reading alongside together and being silly about trying to pronounce the names. I can't pronounce a lot of those names. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun pronouncing them. I've learned a lot uh, just by coming alongside of him and reading the books with him. Um, the Dinosaurs for Kids by Ken Ham talks about the seven F's of dinosaur history. And I didn't know that. I grew up thinking that dinosaurs were here and then something happened and they're gone. Never did I think that they could have been in the Garden of Eden. That, And of course, now that I'm older and a Christian, I know that. Um, right. But when you think back to how the garden was portrayed, they don't show the dinosaurs. So we don't think about the dinosaurs. But through Ken Ham's book, I learned that, you know, you see the dinosaurs in the garden and what happened to them. And they always bring back that biblical view. And when it talks about fallen, they bring in what Jesus Christ did for the fallen. So even though it's a dinosaur book, it presents the gospel and it holds true to ink on paper to impact eternity. Right. Oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. So it's helped not just your students, but yourself. Yes, absolutely. And it's been fun to watch him grow in his knowledge. He has a lot of reptiles. Um, <laughs> he has many <laughs> lizards, uh, no snakes. We won't do snakes, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's helped him um, with that interest and that love that he has. Mm -hmm to tap into that and into that interest. When we get into our child's world and tap into those interests, so many things happen. They want to continue reading. They want to write about it. They want to draw because it interests them. That's their passion. Just mm -hmm. like there's things that I'm extremely interested in that my husband's not interested in. But when he gets into my world, it deepens that relationship. So 
in the same sense, it deepens my relationship with my child, being able to come alongside of him and learn about the things that interest him. Absolutely. And meanwhile, he's getting the practice reading and writing and on a topic that he loves. Yeah. So I, don't tell him he's learning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right here. I, all right. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much, Caleb, for sharing your knowledge of dinosaurs and playing the game with me today. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And thank you, Anna, for raising such a great family and using Masterbooks and always being available to help me out in the marketing and publicity of Masterbooks. I want to end with a prayer um, for those who are watching and for all the Masterbooks family. Father, I thank you so much for dinosaurs. I thank you for the Bible and science, for making a way for people to know, for us to know the Bible and science go together, that they line up, that they match. I thank you that you are an awesome God. And these creatures that you created, Lord, we want to marvel at who you are by studying them. So I pray, Lord, that these books would go into the hands of many children and their families would be, uh, their faith, their family's faith would be emboldened so that they could um, defend the Bible, defend their faith, and help people come to know Jesus Christ. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you back next time. Hey, thanks for joining us today for the Master Books Podcast. It was really fun to do this with you today. We hope that you'll take a moment and rank and review the podcast wherever you are listening or watching so that others can find it more easily. We loved having you here and we look forward to being with you on the next podcast. It comes out every other week, Mondays at 5 a.m. See you then.